Hello networkers and welcome back to another a &E off topic and in this video I want to talk about failure. The best way for me to describe what is a failure is that it's really just a setback. It is a setback that requires you to reassess a different path, requires you to reassess to figure out what went wrong or to reassess of what you need to do differently. Okay, so let's take a step back. Why am I recording this video and want to talk about failure? So very recently, I suffered a very huge setback, a big failure. But it does relate to what we'll be talking about in this video as being a network engineer or the things that you're trying to do as a network engineer. So as I mentioned in one of my videos in the new year, that one of my goals for 2019 was to run a 50 mile race. Well, that was scheduled this past month on April 6th, the American River 50. And I was fully prepared for it, 100%. Uh, running 20 miles back to back, I was really ready for it. And when I did the race itself, I was doing great. I was at mile 20. If you understand something about road running or ultra running, there's a lot of trail running for some of those races. And when we talk about trails, we talk about hills, extreme elevation. And this race had a lot of that. So anyway, at mile 20, I'm going uphill. I'm doing great. But I feel like I have to stop when I get to the top. And when I did, I became disoriented. I almost fainted. I became dizzy. My body couldn't move. When I tried to, um, to walk forward, I was actually walking backwards. My body was preventing me to move forward. That had never happened to me before. So I was, I was, a, little, I was a little scared. But after a few minutes, I was fine and I continued my run. So I was like, eh, maybe it's a fluke. Let me just make sure I drink more, eat more, just take it easy, do some walking. Just keep it easy because I did not know what that was. So I was doing fine until mile 35. And at that point, I had to stop again. I was going uphill when this happened. I had to stop and find a rock to just rest on. And the feelings were the same, but they were worse. I was disoriented. I did not feel good. I was just really not in a good place. And I blacked out for a couple of seconds. A couple of runners have to kind of hold me up. They gave me some pills. And I, and I just kind of relaxed from that point on. Once I was back up again, I guess, I rested for about five minutes at that point. I told myself, I don't know what's going on. I don't like the feeling. I'm done. I can't continue on with this race because these episodes are getting worse. So I had to walk for three miles to the next aid station so I can be done with this. There was a good friend that was with me during the entire time and he helped me get through those three miles, which felt like eternity. And I did it. So mile 38 is where I stopped and I did not finish that particular race. One of the hard things about that type of setback was I never really experienced a setback like that before. And my children were really not in a good place. They did not know what's going on because I'm sending them text messages from my Apple watch telling them what's going on. And they're like, what do you mean you're blacking out? You're passing out. So my kids were, they were really scared. They're like, is, is, is my dad going to die? Well, that was one of the best decisions that I, that I made. I made the smart decision that my health was more important than trying to finish that race because the next relapse could have been worse. You never know. And I told them that, look, I'm not disappointed at all because I really did not like how I felt. So why am I bringing this up? 
Well, I bring this up for a couple of reasons that when you encounter a setback in your life, um, you have to reassess things. It gives you a perspective. And if you're watching my channel and the videos and the tips and the helps that I'm providing, that means that you are encountering probably some type of setbacks yourself of trying to be a network engineer. I see that in the particular comments. And this could be a number of things in terms of you maybe trying to apply, trying to apply for various jobs, but you're not getting in. Or you do get an interview, but you get rejected. Or you're taking certification tests and you're failing. Or you're not finding jobs. You're finding setback after setback after setback. So for me, I can look at my particular failure that I wanted to do this thing. I wanted to run this 50 mile race, which I knew would be very, very challenging. And I do not feel disheartened by that, that I couldn't finish that, that I failed in that particular objective. Because I can so reflect on the things that I have accomplished. I can say, well, look, you win some, you lose some. You know, I got my CCIE. I'm almost a 20 year CCIE. That's a big accomplishment. How I looked at it during those times of trying to get through the struggle of not completing this 50 mile race. Um, I published various books, and, which have done very well. And you were a big part of that, by the way. So thank you. Heck, I did a marathon. A marathon is still a big deal. And I did that. So it's a very proud thing. And um, I built a business, which I've been independent for such a long time. I have other contract people who work for me, but I'm the main person that does most of the stuff. And I have a very successful family, I guess, if you want to say that, you know, my kids are good. They're doing good in school. I homeschool my kids. I am the one that teaches them. So I look at these things like I have accomplished a lot. You can't win it all. And when you fail, it allows you to reflect on what doesn't work. Furthermore, some of the things that I did accomplish were also failures. Man, I can tell you when I was going for my CCIE, it's a two part kind of examination, right? There's the written exam and there's the lab portion. The written exam, I took that four times. Because remember back then there were no study guides. There were no, there were no books. There were no video series. There were no training kits. There was nothing. You have to read Cisco Press books and do the best you can. I actually don't know how I pulled it off. It was really, really a tough test because I was limited with resources. But I failed that four times. And when I passed it, I barely passed it by two points. That was, and so that was a lot of setbacks that I had, but I did not quit. Furthermore, when I took my lab exam, that took me three attempts to do it. Um, and again, I did not quit. So I can reflect like I have failed before, but I didn't quit. I just reassessed what didn't work. I made those changes and eventually I did pass my CCIE. And the great thing is when I started to recertify year after or every two or three years, I got better with these tests because my experience level improved. So let's bring this back to you guys. Okay. So just think about what particular failures or setbacks because a failure is nothing more but a setback. It's a failure if you just stop altogether, but really that's not true. But I think it's important for you to look at whatever is not working for being a network engineer, or if you are a network engineer, but you're probably not doing what you want to do in terms of maybe you want to do more security or cloud computing or data center type work, but you're getting a lot of setbacks for that. I'm confident you have a setback that, or a challenge that you're trying to figure out how to get through. So, hey, let me go to this channel here, this guy that's mentoring network people and trying to find what tools I could use to um, solve those challenges. That's kind of why you're here. And I want to provide my experience because no one gave that to me. Um, so that's really what you're doing. Figure out what your setbacks actually are. And then you need to figure out a couple of things when you determine what it is, whether you're failing a test, you're not getting the right kind of jobs, you're not finding jobs, you're not doing what you really, really want to do. So you got to kind of figure out, are you on the right path? Because yes, you might want to do networking, but if there is no interest, 
then it might not be the best path for you. You may want to do more with computers or with some other kind of facet in the IT realm. So you gotta really figure out, is this the right path for me? Is this something that I truly, truly want to do? And if it is not working, then figure out, well, what am I doing now? Because obviously what I'm doing now, something in this mix isn't working. It could be how you're studying, what kind of resources that you have, who you're talking to. Just kind of look at those things and say, okay, these are probably not working because if they did, I would not have this setback. So you may want to try different things. Try everything that it is possible. That's what I did when I was trying to recertify, sorry, when I was trying to become a CCIE. I was failing these written exams. So whatever I was doing simply wasn't working. So I had had the approach where I had to figure out, well, what kind of questions are on this test? Okay, so there's a lot of questions about bridging and X.25, old, old technology stuff, not fun stuff, I tell you. Frame Relay, BGP, OSPF, what kind of questions are on there? And then I just said, okay, let's really focus on those uh, technologies. Think about what kind of questions were on the actual test and try to do whatever Google searches that I can. There wasn't a lot of stuff out there, but I did whatever I could that was different to figure out how can I get through this written test because I did not want that to hold me back. I had the interest there. Networking was something I definitely wanted to do. I just was having these setbacks. So those are some of the things that you really have to do. You have to reassess of what you're doing and doing different things and trying everything that is out there. You may look at something and say, well, I don't think this could work. You don't know unless you try it because it might be something that could be a big benefit. One of the setbacks could be, hey, I'm just not finding a lot of job opportunities as a network engineer where I live. Yes, that, that is a setback. It's not really a failure. It's more of a setback. But that should allow you to look at that and go, well, you know, Michael Tomatis is giving me suggestions about location, location. Location is such a huge, huge thing. So if you're not finding jobs, you might have to do something very, very big and drastic, which means moving to a different location that has more opportunities there. You got to try everything out and figure out what does work. Okay, so I know that was a long video, but I really want to do a particular segment about failures and setbacks and how to deal with that. And again, that gave me more of a perspective because um, what I've been through personally was a pretty big setback. It, it scared me from a personal perspective, but it allowed me to kind of just reflect on, you know, what I need to do next. So right now I'm in the process of just trying to re uh, recover and kind of reassess of what's not working in my routine. So talking to a doctor and doing other things is what my approach um, will be. And who knows, maybe I will do another 50 miler, but for right now I need to do my assessment of what didn't work and have a plan for moving forward. And you should have the same thing if you're having the same set of challenges and um, setbacks and failures of trying to be a network engineer, because it is definitely possible. You just have to figure out what's the right approach to get there. So thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate your support. It means a lot. If you have any questions about being a network engineer, post those questions in the comments. I'm actually gonna do another video because there's some stuff on YouTube that I'm trying to work out, but that'd be a separate video that I would do. But any questions you have, post that below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and support us at rodhub.net. That means a lot, or on my Patreon page. You have many different options, and it would mean a lot. So thanks again for watching this video, and until next time, as always, keep networking.